Today we're going to check out the Soundpeats T2 True Wireless Earbuds, latest version of earbuds from Soundpeats. These do have active noise cancellation. They do have an ambient mode or a transparency mode, whatever you want to call it. They do include it on this pair of earbuds, 69 bucks. So you might think to yourself, oh, entry level active noise cancellation. That is not the case. A lot of value with these earbuds. Again, price $69.99 and every now and then a coupon on Amazon for a few bucks off. You saw the quick unboxing. Let's take a look at what else we get inside of the packaging. User's manual, customer care, 24 months warranty if you scan the QR code and go sign up for their warranty. USB type C to charge and small, medium, and large silicone tips. Mediums, of course, will already come pre-installed on your earbuds. Now, if we look at the actual earbuds, you can see matte black finish on here, and you know I am a fan of that. The Soundpeach branding on top, and three LED lights here on the front, which will represent how much juice you have inside of your case, and the port on the back, USB Type-C to charge. Now, no wireless charging on these earbuds, unfortunately. And if we pull out the earbuds, you can see we get that same matte black finish on the earbuds. And we do have the Soundpeats logo on the top, that new Superman logo. I do really like that. And you can see the touch controls on here. Touch controls do control everything, including volume, which you know I am a big fan of when it comes to hands-free using my earbuds. I am all about being hands-free and my earbuds the rest of the specs on these earbuds, Bluetooth 5.2. These do support SBC and AAC for playback. 12 millimeter drivers on these earbuds. So we are going to get some really good sound quality like we normally do with Soundpeats earbuds. Again, ANC, it is a hybrid active noise cancellation and a transparency mode. And we'll talk about that as we get into the video. Battery life on these guys with ANC turned off around nine to 10 hours and 30 hours total with the case. And with ANC turned on, you're going to get about seven and a half to about eight hours and about 24 hours total with the case. And again, no wireless charging on these earbuds. Now you can also use one earbud at a time. If you want to extend your battery life, you can put one in the case use one and get extra battery life out of your earbuds. And again, touch controls that control everything, including volume. These are also IPX6 water and sweat resistant. So a pretty good IP rating on these guys. You can work out running them, sweating them. You can get them a little wet. You know, I wouldn't submerge them in water still, but you can get them wet. Just wipe them off and they should be okay. Let's throw them in, check them out. And we'll get into everything. We're gonna start with a mic test. So I'm gonna throw them in. We'll do a mic test in a quiet environment and then we'll do a mic test in a noisy room so you guys can hear how the mics sound. What up guys, the mic test, the T2 from Sound Peaks, the latest version of earbuds with active noise cancellation, transparency mode, all controlled hands-free through your earbuds. You know I like that. Anytime I can control everything without using my phone, a lot of value there for me. How does the mic sound? Let me know, drop a comment below. Now we got some crowd noise playing. Lots of people talking now. This is what it will sound like if you are in a crowded room, a noisy environment, maybe walking around outside with a lot of people around, not in this day and time, but eventually we'll get there again. But crowded room, how's the mic sound? Again, drop a comment, let me know. Next thing I wanna talk about is the touch controls. I'm gonna show you how they work. So music is playing right now. If we just single tap on the right earbud, it will control the volume. You can see the volume going up. And if we do that on a left earbud, the volume will go down. Now, if we double tap on the right earbud, it will pause. And if we double tap again, it will play. And there is a little sound, a little beep that happens once you do that. And on the left bud, it will be the same thing. If you double tap, it will play and pause. And that is also how you answer an end of phone call. Now, if we triple tap on the right earbud, you can see it is going to bring up your voice assistant. And we'll go back in, play some more music, and we'll triple tap on the left earbud. And again, your voice assistant, and that's going to work on iPhones, on Android devices, and it will bring up your voice assistant. Now, if we go back out, music is still playing. If we just touch and hold on the right earbud, you can see it does go to the next track. And if we touch and hold on the left earbud, that is going to scroll through active noise cancellation and transparency mode and then turn it off. So you do have options. 
If you just touch and hold, it will keep scrolling through there. And it says it's a voice inside of your ear. It does say normal mode on here. So very cool as far as touch controls. Big fan of touch controls that do include everything. Now, all right, guys, next let's talk about the active noise cancellation and the transparency mode on the Sound Peach T2. You know, for the price, a lot of earbuds come in at entry level ANC or maybe slightly better than entry level active noise cancellation. That is not the case with the T2s. It is slightly better than that. Overall, it does a really good job at basically blocking out all the low end noises, the low end rumbles, and it will even take out some of the higher end noises as well. So again, don't compare this to the earbuds that are at the you know the top of the ladder, the, the big guys out there, the AirPods Pro, the Sony's, the Sennheiser's, it's not that, but it is better far better than entry level active noise cancellation. So really good. And especially when we're getting these around 70 bucks. Now the ambient mode or transparency mode, whatever you want to call it, does a very good job. Now, the one thing I do not like about the ambient mode is on my pair of earbuds. I do get a bunch of white noise when I do turn it on, but overall it's pretty good. I'm using it right now as I talk and make this video with these earbuds on and it's, you know, it's not as natural sounding as some of the higher end earbuds, but it's also not as digitally sounding as some of the other earbuds with transparency mode on them. Overall, really good. They've done a good job for 70 bucks, giving us a $70 pair of earbuds with really good ANC and really good transparency mode at a really good value when it comes to price. So very impressive what they've done here for the price with these earbuds. Now, when it comes to latency, and any delay between audio and video, you're not going to experience anything. If you're just watching Netflix videos, YouTube videos, on your phones, on your tablets, whatever you want to use them for it, it's going to be fine. Light gaming is going to be okay as well. And of course, like most pairs of True Wireless earbuds, anytime you get into that heavy gaming, you are going to notice some delay with your earbuds. It is slight, but it is there. So just be aware of that. All right, guys, sound quality and volume on the T2s. Look, volume-wise, plenty. You don't need more than what these things give you. They get very loud, and you're going to have to turn it down. You're not going to be able to listen to these all the way up. And you know me. I like excessive volume. I like to dial it back. Find that sweet spot, and that's exactly what I have here with the T2s. I can dial it way back and just find that sweet spot. And if you want more, sometimes you can, you can get more. But... These are going to be good as far as volume goes for anyone. Now, and as far as the sound quality goes, 12 millimeter drivers on here. So you're going to get some good bass. You know, Sound Pete's, they have dropped a bunch of earbuds lately with some really good bass. And you guys know I'm a bass head. So these are a type of earbuds that I am really going to enjoy. Now, you know, we compare these or I will compare these to something like the Sonics when it comes to bass. The Sonics have more bass. These do not offer that deep of a punch but it is crisp. It's a crisp bass and I like it. It's very sharp in my opinion. And the highs, the highs sound really good on here. And again, very loud guys. So sound quality, these are a pair of earbuds that I can just immerse myself into and just forget about the world, forget about my problems and just go in on the beats and the music that I am listening to in that moment. And if you want, turn on ANC and you can go even, you can go in and even more. So very good when it comes to sound quality, in my opinion. The Sound Peeps T2 guys, a really good pair of earbuds. You know, A and C, transparency mode, pretty good battery life, 12 millimeter drivers, plenty of volume. Sound quality is really good on these. The price is really good on these. The one thing I wish they had was wireless charging. And the other gripe I have really is just, I'm not a big fan of earbuds that kind of stick out in your ears. And you can see these do stick out a little bit. It's not bad but you know i'm trying to find something to pick apart and it does stick out a little bit in my ears but again 12 millimeter drivers in there so you know it's a trade-off right and battery life again is pretty good on these earbuds with anc turned off and i'm not really one to listen to earbuds with anc turned on anyway because playing music is going to drown out any outside noise for me as it is sound peach t2 guys let me know how the mic sounded, drop some comments below and let me know what you think of the mic both in a quiet room as well as in a noisy environment. That's it for the video, guys. I'll be back soon. I hope everyone has a great week, man. Stay safe. Peace.